another spoiling spoil yourself kind of item uh, this is the glow glam glam glow <laughs> everyone welcome back to the channel it is another video it's yet an, again another video and as per your responses i definitely chose to sit in this space again i really like the lighting now, we're here today and i'm going to do a collective um review and i don't want to just call it beauty because there are some things here that are not beauty but i'll, I'll just name it under the series it's a collective beauty review and i am going to be showing you some of the things that i've been using during lockdown period and i tailor made this collective beauty review to be uh mostly things you can actually get hold of so if you go to uh, a lot of them you can find at Discam. so i made sure that i don't put in any like mac products or urban decay products or whatever because i'm not sure if those things are being sold even online i'm not quite sure so these are things that you can actually go up and pick up in the store if you wanted to so for the most part we're gonna get started because i wanna it's 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 gonna be short it's gonna be quick i hope and um i'm gonna get started with the very first thing which i mentioned in a vlog of mine maybe two weeks ago i have been wearing it just to feel the way sometimes i don't even have makeup on <laughs> sometimes i do like today i'm wearing it today and i have makeup on it's these these things are amazing and i feel like i need to pick up more more of these colors this is the Revlon ultra HD vinyl lip polish and that's pretty much what it looks like it goes on so nicely on the lips and my favorite um, uh, color is 960 which is date night that's what I have on my lips right now this is this color and I feel like for autumn it is a really nice sort of like a darker movie movie kind of color uh, I really really like it it feels amazing on the lips it literally feels like you've got on lip balm like a general lip balm but I love the fact that it's got a bit of color I mixed it on today with a max chestnut lip pencil I really really love it and it's something that I can recommend you can pick this up at clicks or just came anywhere where there's a Revlon stand it's a really great one the next thing I have to mention are the press on nails these are the kiss press on nails I spoke about the press on nails in a haul that I did at clicks and disc came haul and that was about when I picked those up was about two weeks uh, prior to this the filming of this now and I wore one set and they lasted me roughly just between six and seven days and then I took them off but I really enjoyed them I feel like it was the first time I was a little bit weird about them but I really like how they look and in fact I'm going to apply some on today so maybe in the next video that I film uh, I'll have them on but I just wanted to show you these are great these are a great alternative if you're somebody who is like me who likes to get a sculpture or something like that and you can't do that right now like the tips and the what and the what's you can't do that right now this is a great alternative it comes in different sizes colors shapes uh, you know, you get the, 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 the oval shape, the square, the coffin. It's got really, it's got such a nice selection. And I really, really do want to try on this shape. Not really my kind of shape, but I really do want to try it on. <laughs> Now nah, maybe I might go with the square ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it is a really great alternative if you're somebody who's used to wearing, who's used to like nails that aren't yours some sort of artificial nail if you're somebody like that this really comes in handy especially now just until we can get back to getting our nails done so the other day i washed my brushes my makeup brushes and i used this product for that well the one that i am currently using is upstairs this is one that hasn't been opened but if you've been watching my videos you know what i'm talking about uh this is the sorbet deep clean squeaky clean uh, liquid brush and sponge cleanser this is really really good you just pour some of this liquid into like a container and you dip your brush in there and you and then that's it and literally that's it what I normally do is I dip my brush in there because I don't necessarily know what's uh, I don't pay attention to 
what is in the liquid itself so i'll dip it into the liquid get all the gunk and grime out and then run it under water run my brush under water and they literally come out squeaky clean it's so so good if you're somebody who wears makeup i really recommend this it's from sobe so you can pick it up at clicks uh because i'm not quite sure i don't think the sobe stores are open so but uh click stores sell sobe this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a really, really, really great product. I'm very impressed with this. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really washing my brushes that much because I hardly wear makeup that much apart from today. But this, it's It works. So these two go together. They're from different brands and what have you, but they go together. Um, one of my favorite cleansers, which is one that I use in my morning routine, if you've watched that already, uh, one of my favorite cleansers is this one. This is the La Roche Effaclar H um, Cream. It's always written in French and whatever, so I need to find the right word. This is the La Roche Posay Effaclar H Derma Soothing Hydrating Cleansing Cream. And that's pretty much what that one looks like. You. I use this hydrating cream every single day. It is brilliant. Also available at Discam, so you can pick it up if you want to, to try it out. Very soothing on the, it's a cream, so it's very soothing on the skin when you apply it smooth it literally feels like you're not putting really anything on to your skin but it's a really really great product and i love it it's so smooth it's not abrasive on your skin at all um it's very light it's great for sensitive skin as well so i really really enjoy this and i wanted to mention it um some of the other products that I'm using, I'm not sure if are available during lockdown. That's why I specifically tailor-made this um, collective beauty review to be um, more specific for things that you can actually pick up. And then this is a facial loofah, or it's a facial, um, I'm right, yeah. It's a facial loofah, really, this is all it looks like. That's it. It has a little bit of grit to it so what I do in the morning or in the evenings whenever I'm using my cleansers um, I wet this and then obviously it fluffs up a little bit it's got a little bit of grit to it I apply my cleansing uh, balm onto it and then I do this guys sometimes I use my hands but sometimes when I want to go in there when I want to give my face a little bit of a scrub this works really really nicely if I don't want to use my more abrasive cleansers which have like micro balls or anything like that so if i don't want to use those i use this with a smooth um uh, cleansing cream or cleansing whatever and <laughs> i use that and i use this and i just rub it onto my and oh my god it's it's like literally being at the spa it's so so nice and these i think it comes in a pack of five or six and you can pick these up at clicks i'm not quite sure if they're available at discam but at the clicks here by me i saw them and i picked up like a bunch of them because it is so so good you can pick it up at clicks so something you can pick up from a discam is this this is the glam glow glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer now i've had this for a while i've had it for a while and i used to enjoy putting it under I don't want to spill it. That's pretty much what the what it looks like. Ooh, ooh. I used to enjoy putting it on under makeup, but now I actually apply it every maybe other day just as a moisturizer onto my face because it leaves a really nice illumination, luminosity. Uh, your skin looks really, really nice and just... Um, glowy man it looks like really lit up from within it's such a nice product and it comes in two colors this is sun glow which is really nice for people of color and then uh you know bomb melanin yeah one and then uh <laughs> then there's another one which is I, th I think it's pearl glow or something like that which is for uh lighter skin tones but this this is really really nice it smells great i feel like it works well under makeup i've probably had it for maybe two months now or if not longer so really mm, i just haven't been using it as much because i would only apply it when i would wear makeup and on those heavy makeup days or if i was going out 
but i really really like it definitely worth uh trying out if you're keen on spending a little bit of more coin this is of course glam glow so it is a little bit more on the pricier side but if you want to spoil yourself if your birthday is coming up because i know mine is um but if you want to spoil yourself definitely try this uh illuminating uh moisturize moisturizer out I feel like i'm talking too much I need to wrap this up and then um definitely need to mention this because this is a bang for your buck and it is available at discam stores this is the himalaya clarifying mud mask so this is what it looks like there a really really good mask at a great price it comes with different uh types of masks i love the fact that it comes in a tube so you just pretty much open it up please don't split please please okay so you just open it up i've used it already it's sort of like a an orangey kind of color orange uh yellowy kind of color really really great because it is a mud mask so it gets hard it, it hardens on the skin so that so it can pull out all those that dirt gunk and grime from your pores really really good i love this one and it's a really good one for a deep cleanse but it also comes with different other types there's a cucumber one that i really like as well that one is really good for refreshing and rebrightening the skin i love that one and um there's, there's, there's a couple of different ones, but my favorite ones is the cucumber one and definitely this one, which is great for more of a deeper cleanse and firming up the skin. Love it. Available at Clicks, you can definitely pick it up. I've got a bag here where I'm just throwing everything inside. Well, you can definitely pick it up from there. Again, another spoiling, spoil yourself kind of item. Uh, this is the Glow Glam. Glam Glow. <laughs> This is the Glam Glow uh, Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. So that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if I have spoken about this in one of my videos, but I, I bought it quite a while ago as well. And because my MAC Fix Plus Spray ha is dwindling, it's on its last legs, and I'm thinking, I don't know if I can buy it. Where? Where can I buy it? Um, I opted to start using this one quite a bit. And man, was I impressed. Firstly... Mm. Firstly, okay, first of all, <laughs> it smells like sweets. It smells absolutely delicious. It smells so, so good. Uh, I really, really like it, and it sets makeup quite well. Um, setting sprays are a little bit of a hit and miss for me because some of them will set the makeup quite well, but they'll leave droplets of the makeup on your face. Uh, one that used to do this a lot for me, and it used to really piss, piss me off, is the... Um, um, L'Oreal one, the one that's sort of cream colored, like it looks like, like stash water. Yeah, but yeah, that L'Oreal one that looks a little bit like stash water. So man, I forget the, the, the range it's from, but I didn't like that one because it would leave droplets of different colored, you know, but this glam glow one has really done the absolute most. In fact, it has gone up the mark when it comes to the Mac fix plus matte spray i don't like it i don't like the matte one i like the regular fix plus but there's a fix plus matte which i really don't like this one has surpassed that one for me and it is really really good besides who doesn't want to smell like sweets on their face oh, mm -mm. And that's pretty much it. The last thing that I did want to mention, but I'm not going to get into detail with, is this book that I have been loving rereading. And I mentioned this in my... Um, I mentioned this in my one of my vlogs. It's a great book. It's disturbing. It's uh, about a woman who moves to a different... Um, to a town in Botswana and she's from South Africa. It's called The Question of Power by Bessie Head and she moves to a town in Botswana with her son and a lot of stuff um, happens because uh, the thing about moving is that you can move but your past uh, and the thoughts and the things that have happened from your past follow, follow you. So it's, 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 a, it's a very... It's charged mentally with... Um, a lot of hallucinations um just it's a very it's a it's a deeply difficult read but it's a great read which has been written very very well it was 
um, the author is Bessie Head. And if you're South African, you know who Beth Bessie Head is. I get Maru, maybe. I could say that. But yeah, that's one of the other things that I've been loving really at the moment. But that's pretty much it. I feel like I've been talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and join the family. If you see me in this outfit again, just know that I'm probably recording something else sitting in this position. Okay? One day. One thing. And uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.